All right, guys, first video in my new series, Big and Ripped in 10 Months. I was going to do a status update first to show my uh, body fat percentage, my beginning measurements, my weight. Um, and I'm going to do that in the next couple of days, but I just wanted to get started with this video series. So instead of procrastinating, I am going to talk about a staple of my nutrition, which is obviously going to be a big part of me getting as strong as possible on basic weighted calisthenics movements for the next uh, 10 months and hopefully as muscular as possible in the next 10 months without getting overly fat. This is a high calorie shake. It's high protein, even higher fat. It's been the staple of lean bulking in the past and I've actually been able to recompose my body, like burn fat and get more muscular at the same time. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, you could use any blender. We're not doing like a smoothie where we have to grind up nuts and seeds and avocado pits or anything like that. So you could use any blender. I prefer to use a bullet because I can mix it in this one cup, blend it in this one cup, and drink it in this one cup. So it's really efficient, very time efficient. And um, what I found is most of the more expensive bullet uh, blenders have small cups where I can't actually mix everything. Okay, I found this one, it's from Farberware. I found it like, you know, whatever, 20% off in some, you know, discounted section of Walmart. And uh, what I did is I went over and I made a mark, okay, with a uh, marker at the eight fluid ounce mark. So this is the cheapest blender I was able to find. And this is also the best for these purposes blender I was able to find. So let's get started. The basis is going to be heavy whipping cream. It's got a lot of fat saturated fat, cholesterol, it's basically really good for building up a lot of calories and building up a lot of testosterone in your body because fat is a testosterone precursor, okay? That's why your test levels go down when you go on a low-fat diet. Um, also, in addition to that, it is actually better than using milk or half and half, which is a mixture of heavy cream and milk, because milk has a lot of carbs, okay? Heavy whipping cream is like almost zero carbs. So go ahead and put in eight fluid ounces of heavy whipping cream. Next thing you use is something that was also uh, a mainstay of Rio Blair's nutrition. Rio Blair and Vince Gironda kind of saw eye to eye with nutrition, whereas Gironda did a lot of training as well. Um, Rio Blair was more just a nutritionist. He was the very first the, actually, the first two Mr. Olympias were won by Larry Scott. He was his nutritionist. Larry Scott trained with Gironda and got nutrition from uh, Rio Blair. He was really into using heavy cream uh, in his beverages. Uh, and also, he had the first really good protein that wasn't based on soy or ground up fish or you know some garbage like that. So this is something I make myself. It's um, a combination of milk and egg protein, okay? I'm really trying to find out what Gironda and uh, Rio Blair did back in the day with their milk and egg protein. Notice I am not putting a scoop in, okay? What I'm doing is I put the, uh, the bullet blender cup on a scale, zero it out, okay? And I add in not one scoop of protein, but exactly 30 grams of protein, okay? Because what I've noticed is, you know, sometimes the scoop in a protein uh, container is not right, Okay, uh, sometimes it, may, it works in the beginning, will be exactly 30 grams, but as after a while, as the protein kind of compacts because of gravity, it becomes like less or more or whatever. So I found it best to actually weigh, if possible, your protein. This time I've pre-weighed it, okay, because I'm making a video, but usually take it right out of the container and like weigh it. Okay, so 30 grams of milk and egg uh, protein powder. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put in five raw eggs, okay? Um, I'm gonna have a video linked down in the bottom that talks about whether raw eggs are dangerous. I've discussed it before. I don't wanna discuss it again, okay? Um, but the bottom line is, you know, if you use organic eggs, which I admit I don't, okay, it's very unlikely that you're going to get sick, salmonella or anything like that. Okay, uh, what it really comes down to is the way the eggs are, you know, held. Okay, it's also very unlikely that you're actually going to get salmonella from raw eggs. Okay, because, um, like I said, it's just like an unlikely thing. And if you do actually get salmonella, which I never have gotten, 
okay? You basically, you know, get like, you know, digestive problems, okay? You get like, you know, diarrhea, et cetera, stomach cramps for like a day or two, and then you're usually fine. So, like I said, I've never gotten it if I get it. I mean, I've had people who smoke cigarettes saying, you're going to die because you drink raw eggs. I've had people who use steroids saying, you're going to die because you drink raw eggs. People who get wasted on alcohol every day. People who do illegal drugs saying, you're going to die because you drink raw eggs. Like, no, bro, I'm not, okay? If I produce green feces and have a tummy ache for a day or two, I could live with that, okay? Uh, you know, if you get lung cancer because you smoke two packs a day, you're fucking dead. Okay, you're gonna wish your biggest problem was shitting green, okay? But anyway, like I said, five raw eggs, eight fluid ounces heavy whipping cream, 30 grams milk and egg protein. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some cinnamon. People talk about how cinnamon has all kinds of health benefits, performance enhancing benefits. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I really use this for taste, okay? Uh, I put some cinnamon in here so it, you know, it tastes good. It has like a little bit of a different color. It doesn't taste bad without the cinnamon, but it's just, you know, adding an extra flavor, but it's not going to spike your insulin. And, um, you know, like I said, it's not going to add any calories. It's not going to add any macros. It's just, you know, cinnamon powder. And that is it. All right, so here we go. Um, I didn't want to blow anybody's ears out if they're listening to this video with headphones on. So I stopped the video when I was going to go ahead and blend it. Another thing, if you're in a house where you got kids or you got people that you want, you know, you wake up early or you don't want to wake up everybody in the whole house, what you could do is, because this has like the base is a lid, what I used to do is make this pre-workout, drink this for my pre-workout, and then I'd make another one and put it in the refrigerator overnight. So when I woke up in the morning, all I had to do was drink it, wash out the cup, quiet and very time efficient to get you out of the house and get you into work. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the macros, okay? Once again, eight fluid ounces heavy whipping cream, five raw eggs, 30 grams milk and egg protein powder, and uh, ground cinnamon powder just for the taste. What this comes down to is 1,299 calories total for this one shake. 60 grams of protein, which is 18%, 12 grams of carbs, which is 4%, 113 grams of fat, which is 78%. Now, that might seem like a lot of carbs, but all I really take is this twice a day, and at the moment, two steaks. Two steaks, and the butter I fry it in has zero uh, carbohydrates. I'm thinking about adding, when I need more calories, when I need more protein, I'm thinking about adding some 80% ground beef for another meal. Once again, zero carbohydrates. So like I said, even though this has 13 grams of carbs in it, okay, it is still not as bad when you consider over the day I'm only getting like 26 grams of carbs.